the back in the buy it. Wasn't real, wasn't real with your boy. Real, wasn't real with your boy. You won't give me too much chances. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm fancy and brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, I'm telling you. He is the hero. We have the oh dear, showing the path to ambition. Oh no, he received a shot. Now he's a one shot. Oh dear, oh dear. We have me. Can he survive? It's the, it's the million dollar question now. Can he survive? He race. Oh my, oh my god. Oh no, he fell off. Oh he fell off. No. Oh no. Good evening everyone, we are back with the Winter Season Championship with the NA server, the upper and the lower bracket second round. So just going to remind you about the Winter Season Championship, all games except the bracket uh, finals and grand finals are best of five series, that is whichever team wins the first three matches will win the fixture. This format is a double elimination knockout stage and the tournament is seeded by the leaderboard ranking during the previous skill tournament 
and that information can be found on the website under Hall of Fame and Clan section. Uh, monetary prize is as follows. Uh, we see the first place earning two thousand five hundred US dollars, second place one thousand and five hundred dollars US dollars, third place one thousand US dollars, fourth place six hundred US dollars, the fifth to sixth place with three hundred fifty US dollars. Purple and also Hated have earned uh, 200 US dollars following the exit on the first day. Uh, we're going to start off with the upper bracket second round with Winterman, Novka, Mime Ruins, and finally New Bay. Lower bracket second round will be starting with uh, Port Bay, Fort Despair, and Dasa Sands. Um, this is wrong, so we are currently streaming upper and lower bracket second round tomorrow, lower bracket third round, and upper and lower bracket finals in on the 27th and grand finals on the 28th. The reason why um, today's matches are postponed by one day is because of the update yesterday. As a precautionary, pre precautionary measure so that uh, the teams will not suffer um, from updating the game during the tournament times, and it almost happened to the Asia server. Currently, we will be following the upper bracket second round, and uh, 51 minutes later, we will see the lower bracket second round. Do note that there is a 5 minute delay on the stream, so the time written here uh, is, um, is not um, going to be exactly the time when the stream is broadcasting the matches. So this is to prevent teams from looking at what tanks the enemies are taking and also where the enemies are going to go with their tanks. Time given is in the uh, Eastern Time, so that's the time in Eastern Canada, Eastern US, Colombia, Cuba, Peru I think as well. So this is Primal's team, we have first uh, Even Steven, Cora Cora, Tanner, Iraikonen, Rob, Ghost Ranger, Sierra, Chipotle is life, and Tan Tan too strong and Mako. I'm just going to get, um, I think, my iPad up so I can tell you. What's kind of special about Primal? I think you know already. Primal is one of the mo one of the legendary clans on the any server. Have been there pretty much since day one, and they are consistently the representatives of the NA server apart from the last few uh, last one or two years where rain has um has um, popped up and uh, uh, appeared on the NA server uh, due to a breakup from uh primal so we'll see with rain not being in the winter season in the winter season will primal take away the crown we'll find out soon Right. Okay, so apologies for kind of a short break there. I'm going to I'm going to get more information about Pramel. Just wait for uh, me for a moment. Ethan, even Stephen is the captain of the team, and. Uh, And uh, most of them are from the US, except one who is from Canada. And their average is around 20 years old. And um, as I said, Primo has been there pretty much since the beginning of this game. And hopefully, they are looking for another fun year of tournaments and 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 not and an opportunity in the offline tournaments. And you, they regard the previous school tournaments as their training ground, just like any game, and also Serenity. And uh, they love to experiment stuff, but I think at this stage now, everything it's going to be on the line here. So they will scream against. Uh, they do scream against uh, ally clans such as Purple and Apex. Uh, I think a lot. I think there are a lot of controversy regarding Primal versus Purple, uh, particularly in one game. But I mean, we can ditch this for now. But. Um, but anyway, um, Purple and Apex are, what are some of the really friend, uh, really big allies here. And now we're seeing maps going with Wabbit, Synergy, Apple Juice Hero, Steel Hunter, Radio, Ryan, Bottom, Ryan, Raindrop, and Canny. Uh, once again, another interesting um, clan you're seeing right here is claimed to be the second team 
of uh, GG, but um, most of them are of the uh, most, if not all, of them of American. Um, they are looking to finish top four this se uh, winter season and also for the spring season, and they usually scream uh, four to five days a week and. They are very a very young team. Um, most of them, I mean, all of them, are below twenty years old. So that's super super young team. Um, finally, on the pincer, uh, which is in the lower bracket, second round, uh, we have tanks go Choo Choo, Sponge, Amorat, um, Exodius, Yarrow, uh, Kill One One, Warrior, Luffy, Raylu, Black, Yuri Twelve, and Pape. Hands. Um, if I can find Tanks Go Choo Choo, and he's the captain of the team, and they have, uh, I mean, they are a diverse team, a multi ethnic ethnic team, I would say. I mean, they have they have people who are Russian, Hispanic, Latvian, African American, and also uh, Spanish, uh, Filipino. Um, Asian American and Mexican American. So, uh, most of them from the uh, US, uh, I mean, apart from Yori 12 and Pepe Hands, uh, but they are culturally uh, diverse, I would say. Uh, most of them are students, some of them are. Uh, some of them work in food and hosp hospitality, and uh, one of them actually, his favorite tank is the Panzer 2J, and Let's see when whether Pinsa is going to do really well in the top four. Hello, Aqua Knight. And this is Bramo's prediction. Bramo is poised to win Naps 3 1 and Hello, Sarino. GG 3 2 against Apex. Challenges tournament we have SLG 2 1 against uh, RVG. And finally, Rifle losing to Void 1 2. No keys for you, sorry. Um, if you want to donate to the stream, there are a few ways to do so. Uh, first, you can donate via P PayPal, which is the recommended method. Other ways you can do is to to, to donate via Streamlabs tipping system or using the YouTube Super Chat. Um, but if you cannot donate any money, it's perfectly fine. Uh, just just like this stream and subscribe to my channel and I'll be a happy man um, and this is it let's look at the bracket okay so I'm going to stream Pramble versus Naps alongside uh, Fishy and also Drudos with GG uh, against Apex stream by Papa Rage who is going to commentate in Spanish and also every uh, the loser of Primal vs Naps will be facing Pinsir. Um, so we will find out soon. And CPG will be facing e uh, the loser of GG versus Apex. I think the room should be up very soon. And I'm getting pained by, uh, by, um, by a lot of locations. Um, just going to read them all. Um, but let's hope we're going to see some exciting matches. Um, here we go. I think we're just going to wait for the invite to come up. It's going to help come up in any time soon. Just going to get some containers. Uh, I don't know what I got. <laughs> it's just like too quickly I got three uh, five pieces of free XP boosters very very good very very good I love it yeah and you know winter my North girl it is it is going to be the case um currently six people are here um hello fishy from uh, from straight and just waiting for Jujus to show up and uh, you're seeing Chappelle, Lady Mouse, uh, Rop in the U100, Ghost Ranger in the 2125, a double ice fall by Tan Tan too strong, isn't it? Is, is he too strong? Yeah, he's he's too strong, and uh, he's he's playing alongside Mako with Cola Cola in the Kranwagen. Um 
for some reason, Sierra One Seven, otherwise known as Master Chief, is not here. Uh, why, why, why? Why is he not here? Come on, we need, we need, we need the iconic, the the iconic player here. Just, um, just you know, um, we are against the Confident, uh, which will be Wabbit in the IS Four alongside Raindrop. Um, no, it's actually not. Uh, Wabbit in the Crown Wagon alongside Steel Hunter and Synergy. The Radium. Radium in the T125 alongside Ryan. Ryan in the Vegas Light. And I think Winter by North Korea, as I, as I said a, a, a lot of times, it's, uh, it's, a op it's an open map, quite a big map, but it's also somewhat flat. Uh, but you can kind of. Um, you can kind of uh, get the idea there are three layers of this map pretty much. First layer being on the A side, second layer being on the B side, and the third layer being on the C side. Here we go, Sierra 117 is on the subs bench. So you're going to see a mix of Howdown and also... Uh, no, you're going to see a mix of uh, very strong heavies and mediums or lights. Uh, you really want to make use of the openness and also the large area of the map to um, to kind of get some spots up. But at the same time, you want tanks which uh, could play well in fact, flat ground. And that means uh, tanks with good frontal armor. So Primal taking triple S4. A mouse and the E100 would explain uh, and be kind of appropriate to this map. Meanwhile, Nap's going for a triple Kramvagen. It's very interesting how they're going to pan up with this because they have really good burst damage. Problem is the DPM. They have very, very low DPM. If I rem remember correctly, it's even lower than mouse. So for that to work, I think Naps is really looking for a uh, boom strategy. What it means is that uh, probably uh, they would not. Uh, they would kind of defend a little bit at the start, although they might not get a cap lead. But it's fine because the main idea of a boom strat is the later stages where. Um, if you play strategy games long enough, you just probably um, make use of the momentum you gain from the from. A better economy in a late stage. So I think the crab wagons with the burst damage potential, if they are able to isolate tanks and use uh, the one thousand, uh, use the three thousand and six hundred damage altogether, they can kill a tank and a half, which will bring them to a solid advantage if they find out the isolated tank of Pramo. But Primal is not going to give it uh, going to make it easy for Naps to do so. But do you also see Ryan in Vicus Lights, which is going to get some spots up obviously, but let's see. I think Primal has his lineup that will fit uh, the map, but equally Naps have an idea here. So how is it going to pan out uh, in this match? It's going to be very interesting indeed. So, uh, where's Judo's? Hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. So apparently, Judo's clicked onto the wrong invite and went into, uh, the challenges to the mint uh, match, uh, which is not nice to see. So, here we go. Hello, Jake the Splits. Hello, Bloody Raptor. Hello, Daniel Faria. Hello, Sereno. Uh, very interesting games. I think everyone will be excited to watch, uh, apart from Judo which has gone into the wrong room. Should be good games tonight, I agree with you. And it's going to be a lot of ice falls, which is something that I really hate to see in tournaments, but it's Minter Malinovka, so I can forgive them for taking those tanks here. <laughs> Hello, Exa, how are you doing? Um, the sound engine is a little bit broken, to be honest with you. I mean, you can hear sometimes the audio got cut off um, while loading into this game, it's just. <laughs> No, I, I, I like the crispier sounds, but uh, the sound engine isn't 
perfect. It's still a little bit buggy. But we're going to see Tanner working with this bush, getting some spots up. Um, will he spot Ryan? And will Ryan spot up Tanner? Uh, at the moment, it's not going to be the case. Uh, look at the maps going for... Ooh, Tanner's shots uh, didn't spot up Ryan, however. Um, that's not nice, but still Hunter already receives a hit. Uh, Prowl playing this really broadly, and Tanner is... Um, it's staying in his position actually. Rob takes a hit, but look at Steel Hunter getting shut down pretty much uh, at the start with a lot of hit points. Hello, uh, the angry old octopus. Uh, this is not Asia server for a con, that's the NA server you're watching right now. But Rai, uh, I think Tanner tries to put a shot into Rai, but it wasn't as successful. And Chipotle's life receives another hit from the Naps team, and Naps just pushing this really aggressively and you will be worried about these IS force here even Stevens and also Ghost Ranger might be taken down by Naps forces and it's going to be two versus two Wabbit puts a good show into even Steven and Synergy is barreling in they they are looking for even Steven's head and his head would not be would be throbbing with pain and look at this good shell into even steven and synergy will finish even steven off that's a really good kill chipotle is also dead naps is actually coming on top of this uh, brawl affair and look at synergy receiving a big hit by rob and rabbit is looking for ghost ranger on the other hand rye is killed and ranger is getting surrounded by tan tan too strong and also tana if we go down Ghost Ranger is now killed by Rabbit, and this is still pretty much anyone's game. It's four for the six, but there are two really low hit point targets for Naps and Cora Cora, and also um, Rob is looking for Synergy. Can Synergy survive from this onslaught? But look at this, Rob is going for Rabbit instead. We're still Hunter now dead, and it's a no, it's not a miss, Rabbit. Two more shells, a Cora Cora is a one shot, a Tan Tan too strong, probably a little bit too. Too strong for his shells, I couldn't even penetrate. Cora Cora is now dead. Three versus four. Synergy is struggling to hold on. Look at this. Crown Vargans, double Crown Vargans are dead. And now might be Prowl's game here. I don't know. Raindrop. And uh, Ryan kills off Raw, but it's two versus two. Ryan is really healthy. In the Vegas light, the raindrop and is looking for Tan Tan too strong as well. But Tan, I think, puts a good shell into Ryan and Tan Tan too strong. Oh no, receives a bounce from Ryan. And that will be very important because raindrop is now down to 1000 hit points. And Ryan is another miserable bounce. I, I think Naps, they cannot fluff this one. And Tan Tan too strong is now killed by Ryan, leaving raindrop to be a one shot. He needs to survive. Tan is a bit low, but. With Ryan having more hit points, Tanner misses that shell. Oh no, but the rain drop as well. And Tanner is now one shot. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Tanner is not a bounce. Oh no, Naps won the first game. <laughs> really tight game there. What a massive game for Naps here. Really good job trying to shut down the isolated ice for the pramble i think maybe they spread out somewhat uh, a little bit too much which um allowed naps to isolate targets and hand naps to win you're seeing naps five tanks doing more than 2k seven kills in total pramble four tanks doing more than 2k four kills in total for the for these tanks doing more than 2k i mean and uh Really solid first game by Naps. Um, certainly, I won't be sleeping with this kind of very exciting stuff happening around. Trammel currently 1 0. Uh, apologies, not right. It's currently Naps 1 0 to Trammel. Yeah, I got it right. Come on, I'm just like, my mind is like um, in, the hol in the holiday mood somewhat, but Naps did a. Uh, did, uh, did a really good job in the last game and they deserve to win that game um, But it's not over yet. It's a best of five series. So now need two more victories to see to win that fixture but this looks really promising for Naps, I must say. And Prabhu, um, although they took tanks which might suit the map, I think Naps kind of uh, Looked at the lineup that Prabhu was taking uh, understand 
understood that Primo did not have mobility, so they really make use of the broad play from Primo, and they did a brilliant job isolating the tanks. Now Primo dropping the super German super heavies, and this could increase a lot of speed. I think Primo is really, um, I mean, Primo knows how, why they lost the last game and they are really making changes to address that problem. And I think with a lot more mobility in this one and a TVP by Primo, let's see how Primo is going to deal on this map with Naps going uh, dropping a crown wagon in place of t125 lots of hold down tanks will it be a good choice for this map we will see but primal i mean the sound engine is a bit buggy anyway i don't know what can we fix that please um it's, it's just really really buggy and uh i think both, both teams taking very similar lineups so it's kind of uh, 50 50 at this point and all go, uh, boils down to which team having better focus fire, uh, which means uh, which uh, the team that can uh, find out and isolate targets and put their shells in um, as, a, uh, as a collective, I must say. Ryan is going to get a spot of spoiler up Cora Cora. And yes, here we go, Sierra on the server Master Chief is playing in this map. Uh, Primo uh, was B now getting captured. Oh, some shots going in, but uh, but nothing has uh, hit. And B is now getting captured by Tan Tan too strong. He's too strong. He's not going to get hit uh, while capturing B. That was a good shot into Raindrop. But this is always but this is the problem that we are always talking about. If you get B. How are you going to get out of B? This is a big question. Ghost Ranger for some reason taking a lot of hits. Uh, this is really um, interesting stuff from Primal. They are losing way too many hit points at the start, which uh, is really, really strange given their caliber in tournaments. And look at Tan Tan too strong, trying to get out of B, but horrendously uh, shut down by Naps and... Uh, it seems like whenever a team goes into B, it's an automatic loss for them. And Tot Tan Tan Too Strong has now dead. And the hip was still with Pramo. The Naps cannot let their guard down this one. I think Raindrop was a good shell into Master Chief. But the Ghost Ranger is now getting surrounded by Ryber. He takes uh, some crossing shells by the Pramo's team. But still, Hunt is now dead. Oh, actually, Naps might be throwing this one away. Because now they have dropped quite a lot of hit points. And they really need to consolidate right now. Even Steve is now a one shot. is now killed. But Ryber is also killed. Which means it's going to be uh, four versus five. Um, uh, Master Chief is also killed with Synergy looking for the head of Ghost Ranger. And Ghost Ranger is hiding behind the IS-4, which means Rai is going to be the one killing off Ghost Ranger. Raindrop is also dead. It's now 3 versus 4. It's still really close call, but Rob is now the isolated tank for Primal. Can he survive long enough before Primal is able to regroup? I don't know, but Radium is looking for Rob. And Synergy is looking for Rob. Good track shot there, but Radium, um, can you put a good shell into Rob? And yes, it does, but Tana also receives a hit. I think the focus fire from Naps, they need to focus now. They don't have hit points. And Radium's dropping the reactive armor. He needs to kill that Rob. And he does kill off Rob. But Cora Cora will not be the one killing Radium. It is Tana instead. It's now 2 versus 3. But Synergy is a very, very low. It's very, very low hit points. And now Wabbit. Oh dear, Synergy is struggling to hold on. I think he. No big. No mistake is allowed in this situation. Wabbit's also looking for Cora Cora, but uh, the waiting time uh, here means that Cora Cora now has three shells in his clip. And Wabbit Wabbit is now dropping the reactive armor and he receives a bounce here. Is that a good move from Wabbit? I don't know, but this is really risky. I think they have really um, played into Tana Tana now getting shut down by Ryan. I think this is a good play by Ryan, but Wabbit receives another bounce. Oh my goodness me, Cora Cora is having a bad game of his life and now Tana is now dead. It's now 1 versus 3. Is it possible for Cora Cora to do the absolute impossible? I don't know, but Cora Cora hits Ryan, but Synergy puts a good AC show to Cora Cora, which means Red Naps is going to win the second game. What a game that was from Naps. It was very tight from start to finish. I thought. Pram will getting B at the start. Uh, it's like all other teams trying to get B at the start. 
run uh, getting away from B is always the most difficult part and they d haven't shown that they could do that exactly naps once again punishing primal for uh punish uh once you're seeing again teams punishing t uh, whichever clan is going for B at the start and they've done brilliantly so but naps played with fire a little bit kind of um let uh, kind of uh got themselves into crossfire from Pramble and almost threw away a very nice solid victory um with the lack of formation i mean the, the lack of good formation and so on uh but in the end they consolidated isolated Pramble's tanks and in the end very good last minute play from naps i think the most important part here we are seeing in the last minute will be ryan shutting down the tvp which is tanner this is a brilliant uh, brilliant game by naps and we are now on to tiebreaker naps one more victory and they will go through to the upper bracket finals meaning pramble might join pincer in the lower bracket second round Oh, thank you to you for you for the shout out. Hope you enjoyed the stream and commentary so far. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Aljudos is now in the room. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lee. I feel so sorry when you went into the wrong room and um, finally you got into the right room. So, um, yeah, I think Wargaming needs to make sure a commentator does not get the room invite twice so that would be very important here we go primal going with double t125 double ice 4 we're now on my rules which is a map which favors a lot of once again quite a flat map and will favor tanks like is4 german super heavy so you're seeing both teams taking no, not not naps though. Naps is actually going very U better, I would say. But uh, but Primal once again taking the triple IS4 and then an E100 would be very very important in this map. Um, and it all relies on the armor of Primal. But the problem all with, with these kind of very heavily armored tanks, uh, especially frontally, would be their gun. Um, IS4 has a uh, questionable accuracy tan is trying to get some spots up e100 has really bad accuracy and mouse very low dpm accuracy is all right but the dpm is really really low so um there is a give and take here uh, you cannot have a tank that is good at everything otherwise it's broken and every time would just use that tank to the moves but there is no such tank in tier tan uh tan tank to show trying to put some shots in radium receives a shot by potentially corner corner and um so far, it's, it's actually um, Naps now getting A by Ryan. Um, I think uh, they know that uh, Primal don't have tanks, doesn't have tanks over to shut down A. C is now getting captured by Ghost Ranger, but oh, even Steven, oh, let's head down to his perspective. He's going to look at Radium. Radium is in loads of trouble. Good HG show to even Steven. Oh dear, Radium is in trouble now. Even Steven is going to be the focus for Naps, I think. Will that be enough here? No. Radium's the first time down and Rise the next time down. I think Naps just caught themselves into deep trouble here. Now Naps, they they need to start killing tanks, but I don't know. It's still really interesting. I I have no idea. Even Steven is now very, very low. And he's now killed. And Rise was killed. And uh, oh my goodness me. That was such a brilliant play from Primal shutting down those T-125s down in the middle and I think Naps uh, will be questioning whether they have sent enough support uh, quickly enough uh, uh, Raindrop is now the next focus for Primal oh and Raindrop receives a fire and no fireman is able to support and extinguish the flames the Steel Hunt is now dead Ghost Ranger is now tracked and now he's a one shot, but would that be enough? It's a 6 versus 3. Naps basically needs to get Emorex, uh, to get uh, get some Emorex in order to make it close. And Synergy receives a big blasting from uh, Primal with also uh, Tanner now dead. 2 versus 4. Is this still possible though? Ryan is in the Vicus Light, but he's just ramming into. No, he's just he's getting rammed by Mako and Wabbit is the last man standing, handing Primal the precious victory they desperately need. 
Uh, this is a good game for Primal, and they need to keep it up for the next one and bring it in, into a tiebreaker. We all want tiebreakers, and uh, for six tanks are more than 2k for Primal. This is good stats. Uh, something that I like to see. I don't like to see t uh, p particular players doing exceptionally good amount of damage because that also means some players would do very little damage. Um, it's not like that. Tournaments, Clan Wars games are all about team play and cohesion and also connecting with one another. So with Tech Tanks doing more than 2k, it's only a good sign to show that they share their damage. Um, no particular tank uh, is useless in the match. While Naps, two tanks doing very little damage, Dry and Radium, not good from here. But you can also see Web and Steel Hunter doing more than 2k. Uh, lost to Pondo Belt, I think the E5 just got horrendously pincered uh, and isolated at the start. So that was a good play from Pram Pramal, and Naps um, might be a little bit slow in uh, reacting to this push from Pramal. Here we go. Even um, Primal now going with double T110E5, triple IS4, and E100 antenna in the biggest light. So once again, going with uh, somewhat of a heavier, heavier setup uh, with two T110E5s would be somewhat of an expected uh, choice because you have some terrain in the middle, so you can make use of the T110E5 for that situation and also work with your reactive armor. Um, that's Triple Crown Vargas, Triple T-125s and Ryan, no mediums or lights for Naps. Will it backfire? I would really want a medium or light in the well, my ruins, especially there is good there there are good positions in the middle to kind of get some spots in, but we will never know. A lot of how down tanks as well for Naps. Will it backfire for them? I hope not. But this is kind of strange about Peter, but I think you will see a lot of play from Naps on the seaside because there is a lot more terrain there and AB side is just basically flat and would not work very well for hull down tanks. And here we go, Pramble North, uh, North spawn red team with uh, Naps blue team south spawn. Um, Naps... Yeah, they, as I said, we'll go mostly to BNC with, uh, let's head down to Tana, getting the T-125s uh, uh, spotted. Uh, couldn't connect it to Rai, um, not a big deal though. Uh, at least Tana didn't receive a big shell and this is all they need. Uh, they really need uh, this information, not some good shots at the start. I mean, that would be negligible. Cora, Cora, and Tenta too strong took a hit at the start. Um, not the best in my opinion because now Naps, Triple Crown Vargas, are they just going very aggressive now? Will it work? They can work with the Howdown position there to kind of get some um, good shots in, but could not connect into Mako. Mako is pulling back. Rob is uh, going in to support. Um, the IS falls and Cora Cora a good shell into synergy, but Rob is now going into the front line. Ooh, didn't connect into Seal Hunter. Uh, Tanner is ignoring A. They do not want to telegraph their position, and I think Tanner would be very important here. Will get the flanking maneuvers up. A good shot into Ryan, and I think now maps are going to surround. Uh, these Primal tanks here. Primal is now in trouble actually. They need the focus fire. Good shot into Ryan, but Primal the focus fire is missing at this point. Mako is now really, really low, and Naps are looking for Mako. But what tank are, is uh, Primal looking for? Rai is very, very low. They are looking for Rai, and he's now killed. And Tan Hensi is also killed, but Mako is going to go down to Steel Hunter, and this is the case. Mako is now dead, and Naps. It's still really, really close. The hit points are neck and neck. Ryan is really low. It's now carried by Cora Cora Rob. It's going to the focus for Radio for Naps here. And oh dear, Radio wasted the shell onto that E100. And it's now going to be 4 versus 5. Still really close to core. It has descended into Pandemonium here. I don't know what's going to happen here. Synergy it just drops down at the right time. And this is still really close. The Double Crab Vargas, Steel Hunter. The lack of DPM might be showing here. But what is this? What is Raindrop doing? Oh my god. Raindrop is AFK. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. 
Oh man, Naps is now virtually playing with four tanks right now. This is bad, bad news for Naps. I, I have no idea. Synergy is now a one shot. So many, so many, so many clans and players having pain issues uh, after the update, which is really bad to see. Hello, Caprao. Uh, how are you doing? Um, Oh, but I, we get to pack a losses as well, and Synergy is now dead. Radium is very, very low. And will Radium be able to put a good shot into Even Steven? Yes, but Even Steven. Oh, it's a bounce! Very important bounce here. But Radium, uh, he's not on the Emerald, but Kalkor is looking to shut down Radium, and he is dead. Oh, and finally, Raindrop is now back alive. Very important one here. And Primal is still barely holding on. Naps have 600 caps, but Raindrop with a reactive armor can simply just barrel in and shut down Steven Steven. And that's a good shell here. A Raindrop is now, I um, mean, whatever kills off Even Steven leaving now. Two tanks versus three. Raindrop still really healthy. But Tana, you know, getting killed by Raindrop. And Cora Cora is now a two shot. This is looking to be Naps' game. But Primal, um, Cora Cora is not going to survive. And. In an upset, Primo lost to Naps. 1 3. Wow. Um, don't worry about uh, we Raindrop despite being out of the battle for pretty much the entire game. Questions will be asked about whether Primo could have done a lot better with a tank up. Apparently, lots. It's lots to be this. There are lots to be decided. Uh, Kora Kora did three kills, doing more than three k damage. But Naps, Steel Hunter, absolutely dominating this match, more than five k. Despite Raindrop being AFK for a good portion of the game, I think in the end when Raindrop came in support, and it was really the difference that Naps needed. And that, I think Naps really make use of the extra DPA they have with the triple T 125s and the burst damage that the triple crown bargains have. And they have really played this uh, strategy really well and they really deserve to be in the upper bracket finals. So congratulations to Naps and GG. Uh, I'm also seeing that they have won Apex 3 nil, so apparently any server doesn't like tiebreakers. I don't think we saw a tiebreaker so far, and uh, it's going to be Primal versus Pinsir. And if Primal lost to Pinsir, this is, I think would be a big, 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 big upset. And despite Primal dominating the previous skill to the mins, this is not the result they are going to be proud of. So here we go, let's look at um, all the results. Alright, so I think the the website is broken. Apparently it is broken. Gosh. I think it is broken. Not the challenges to the bit though, because we see Void 2-0 against Rifle and SLG. 2-0 against RVG. Uh, meaning it will be RVG against MM and Rifle against PPSUC. Uh, PPSUC, I think, got publicly publicly shamed by Wargaming for breaching the rule of uh, the team members not uh, uh, team, the team members leaving the clan. And you cannot leave the clan on your own. You have to be kicked by the clan leader. And as a result, um, they will receive uh, fewer prizes. And uh, <laughs> and I I don't know 
the rules are written uh, black and white on the website and uh, by participating in the challenges to the you inevitably agree with the rules that are sat in the challenges to so can't really comment much about this but uh, I would say I mean I feel sorry for them for really um, for this I don't think this is kind of the thing they expect it to be and uh, but rules are rules so you can't really refute that uh, in this way um, so here we go <laughs> they, they all saw that AFK once again. Why am I always the one who catches people going AFK? Um, <laughs> and what is going on with the with all the AFKs recently? So I mean, there is some problem with the update. I must say, someone just went AFK at the, at the wrong time. I believe there is some conspiracy behind that. But I'm just joking. Uh, don't take it seriously this one. So it's going to be SLG versus uh, versus Void in the upper bracket finals, and uh, I'm going to show you the challenges. Um, oh, also we also have um, yeah the, the the bracket is broken. Um, so. So it is going to be um <laughs> Ray drop MVP <laughs> Uh GG is going to be winning Apex Radio. The so far they have haven't lost a single game in the in the winter season championship would that would they do would they make it do a grand slam in the winter season championship? That would be interesting. But <laughs> But one can one can only hope. <laughs> um, yep, that is the case. You never say best AFK. It is the best AFK I ever say. Oh my god. <laughs> Primo against Pinsir is next. Um, Apex against CPG is next as well. Oh, thank you for the 45 viewers. That's uh, better than. Uh, it's a bet I think it's better than last time. I think there are quite a lot of EU. Um, players watching this stream so thank you very much for your fervent support and oh my gosh oh, i just can't forget about that game to be honest with you it's uh it's a bit funny at the same time a bit sad for raindrop but at least raindrop didn't cost naps that game in the end it was just oh my goodness yeah, what a moment that was what a moment <laughs> Yeah, pin servers prime help we get the right right um sequence here because I don't wanna change again. <laughs> I hate changing the location of the teams the red team, but I believe Pins is on the red team according to the Asia server. Um if it's randomly allocated I I'll be really really mad because come on who wants to who wants to see me changing stuff up with uh, in the first few seconds in the battle? No one wants to see that, right? So, um, <laughs> primal. It's going to be there. I'm going to change the overlays. And do we have time for an uh, a lot of analysis? I think we have. So I think we will show. I will show you. Probably Nap's second game, um, second win, which I think is good, uh, good thing to say. I think there are loads to say, and uh, here we go. Let's load the game up. Oh, 
fine. Okay, so did see pro two okay. We're just asking HLV for that too. Hmm. Hello Yuri Tof, are you doing? Um Let's actually find my stream. We'll analyze the second batch for you. Oh, please make sure to like this stream if you haven't already, and we will look at the second game of P uh, Pramo versus Naps. So here we go. Ah. Uh. That match, <laughs> second game. Oh, what? What's a moment? I'm, I'm still really. Oh my god, that 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 was just a that that was a game of moment. I must say. Hopefully it won't show me anything other than the stream. I'm just going to show you that. Um, well that doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't believe that was an actual strat for Ray to go here. Okay, that doesn't look like so. <laughs> I'll be amazed if that's a strategy, but apparently it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, same, 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 Spitfires. Uh, I, I echo your viewpoint. I, I don't, I didn't know going AFK could be part of a strat, actually. <laughs> so you're not wrong about this. Um, here we go. Fix that, please. Um, this is just really, really buggy, and uh, I think both both teams taking very similar lineups, so it's kind of uh, fifty fifty at this point. It all uh, boils down to which team having better focus fire, uh, which means uh, which uh, the team that can uh, find out and isolate targets and put their shells in um, as. Uh, uh, as a collective, I must say. Ryan is going to get a spot of spoil up Cora Cora. And yes, here we go. Sierra won the same Master Chief is playing in this map. Uh, Pramo, uh, uh, always, as I said, you do not want to put tanks into B uh, at the start. The capture, I mean, there are loads of angles that you could work with to reset. Uh, I mean, two very particular, uh, very, very obvious ones would be this and this okay but we are also seeing more clans now going for this as well this kind of angle so 10 10 is too strong getting b yeah might get cap lead to primal but getting out of b is a problem and if you don't get out of b that means you basically play with sex tanks so is that a good idea to get b at the start i 
I, in my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea at all. I don't see, I don't see a lot of cases where it it did work in the end. So believe believe me, uh, don't do this rat. To be honest with you, um, uh, not going to say, not, I'm going to say to a lot of clients out there who who are still doing this rat. Just um, B is really really difficult. Uh, yeah, might get you can cap pressure. But at the same time, would put yourself in different type of trouble in terms of hit points and also your guns. And we are talking about high level uh, tournament gameplay. So you're really uh, so the importance of having tanks and having hit points is of paramount importance. And I think um, you will, you should only get be when you are well supported and when you uh, are doing stuff. On the other side as well, so this is kind of my take on capturing B at the start, so pretty much as a cap pressure strategy. Oh yeah, there's a bot. Uh, there's a bot that locks in, uh, that locks the chat actually, um, so that I can refer it onto my iPad, and sometimes I can type something on my iPad, and then it will show up. In the YouTube chat, it was B now getting captured. Oh, some shots going in, but uh, but nothing has uh, hit. And B is now getting captured oh, by gosh. Tan Tan. Too strong. He's too strong. He's not going to get hit uh, while capturing B. That was a good uh, shot into Ranger. Uh, you can see. I mean, Ranger in position to shut down Tan Tan. Too strong. Still Hunter in position to put some shells into Tan Tan. -tan too strong. I think there is another Crumb Vargan in position there to shut down Tan Tan. Too strong. And I think Napsen also uh, in this situation, if they're daring enough, but they but they probably don't want to do it because that means they will spread out the team way too thin, and that will allow Primo to get a good rotation instead. So here we go. Draw. But this is always. But this is the problem that we are always talking about. If you get B. How are you going to get out of B? This is a big question. Ghost Ranger for some reason taking a lot of hits. Uh, this is oh really God. um Oh I, I missed that. I missed that. Okay, so we're going back here and just come and replay that. B, how are you going to get out of B? This is a big question. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think Ghost I think Ghost Ranger that even Stephen, you saw them taking a lot of hits. Uh I can only say it's just uh, both, of the, both of these tanks get a little bit too bit too casual, I must say. Uh, particularly Ghost Ranger, you're just showing your side armor, and you can see the Crab is potentially half shells in, and if not, the T125. So I think absolutely Ghost Ranger and also even Steven de needs to align their tank better, and particularly Ghost Ranger should not align in this way. Uh, no. Probably should want to align it this way so that you can use this building and this building to kind of size rape, although it's kind of difficult. But anyway, Ghost Ranger for some reason taking a lot of hits. Uh, this is really um, interesting stuff from Pramo. They are losing way too many hit points at the start, which uh, is really. Oh, uh, but. Um... I think Steel Hunter going that aggressive uh, might be a little bit of a bad idea considering that um, most of Nap's forces you see right here is um, holding a horizontal straight line. Yeah, 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 Primo might get two caps, but look at the, the number of cap points they have. It's, it's less than 400, so stay calm, chip away hit points. I mean, they're, um, I mean, Primo have isolated tanks. 10 10 too strong is isolated. They can go for 10 10 too strong first. Um, once, uh, they can go for this tank first. One is, one, it's shut down, then Sierra 117 might be the next time they want to go for, despite full health. But I mean, Primo would not, would not, would not put the T125s into a position that they would get crossfire. So, I think Sierra 17 is the next tank that is kind of isolated tank, uh, kind of isolated. Just also worry about Primo's lineup here, which, um, can seem to be a little bit of, uh, pretty much single, single, singled out. So, here we go.
really strange given their caliber in tournaments. And look at Tan Tan too strong, trying to get off B, but horrendously uh, shut down by Naps and. Uh, and now look at now Primo how they rotated the tanks to kind of uh, shut down Steel Hunter. This is a tank that uh, has kind of isolated himself. And look at look at the Sierra going in support. And um, and I think on the other hand, we can we can say that uh, Naps can do something to shut down this tank to help Steel Hunter uh, because he's not healthy at all. Or nor Sierra one seven for now. And just go towards where Steel Hunter, well, Steel Hunter can try and move back if that is going to help. But let's continue to watch. It seems like whenever a team goes into B, it's an automatic loss for them. And Tot Tan Tan Too Strong has now dead. Yes, uh, Tan Tan Strong is now dead. Very important kill. Uh, at this point, would have go for Sierra War 7 or Master Chief because he's isolated. And um, let's see. And the hip was still with Primo. The naps cannot uh, let them. I think now, I think Ryan just made a wrong move here um, because what, what he is doing basically is uh, is to invite crossfire. I mean, Cora Cora potentially could maybe. Put, uh, get crossfire here, but Tana, look at him in the TVP is going to put his full clip into Rai and Ghost Ranger also will be able to shut down Rai, it's just um, they are pretty much losing unnecessary hit points at this point and I think Naps needs to be really careful here. Um, they probably are not calm at the moment, if I were Rai I probably would help Steel Hunter in shutting down Sierra first not going in this i think i don't know if he has some pain problems but uh it's kind of a weird move to say the least their guard down Hello. this one i think raindrop was a good shell into master chief but the ghost ranger is now getting surrounded by Rai, but he takes uh, some crossing shells by the Primal's team, but still hunts is now dead oh actually naps might be throwing this one away because now they're I mean, now Sierra Warmers are still alive, which uh, could be very, very critical. Um, hmm. Drop quite a lot of hit points, and they really need to consolidate right now. Even Steve is now a one shot, is now killed, but Rise is also killed, which means it's going to be a four versus five. Um, C uh, Master Chief is also killed with Synergy, looking for the head of Ghost Ranger. And Ghost Ranger is hiding behind the ice. So now three first five with three very very healthy primal tanks, uh, but they are also somewhat far apart. Um, so I think what Naps need to do here, and uh, what primal primal needs to do is I think Primal again needs to join link up with Rob. Uh, while Naps need to find a way to shut down the one of the Crown Vargans as soon as possible, so that uh, it will reduce the impact of two Crown Vargans here. Four, which means Rai is going to be the one killing off Ghost Ranger. Ranger is also dead. It's now three for this four. It's still really close call, but Rob is now. This is a good call from Radium to go behind Rob uh, because he has a lot more hit points, so basically could land a big HS shell. And if they if he could coordinate with Wabbit and also an energy, that would be good. Do also look, there is another tank near C, so uh, that could actually capture C first. They don't have two caps, so. They need to kind of stop Primo from gaining cap points here. Now the Iceland tank for Primo, can he survive long enough before Primo is able to regroup? I don't know, but Radium is looking for Rob, and Synergy is looking for Rob. Good track shot there, but Radium, um, can you put a good shell into Rob? And yes, it does, but Tanner also receives a hit. I think the focus fire from Naps, they need to focus now. They don't have hit points. And Radium's dropping the reactive armor. He needs to kill that Rob. And he does kill off Rob. But Korra Korra will not be the one killing Radium. It is Tana instead. It's now 2 vs 3. But Synergy is a very... That was a good shot from Rab Webber into Tana here. And uh, at, this, at this stage, Synergy is really low. Webber's a bit low. And Ryan is a bit low. So Ryan... Yeah, I could go for Korra Korra, but Tanner would be the more dangerous tank, so wants to shut down Tanner first. That will all rely on that because, like, if he got shut down by Korra Korra, it's game over to Naps.
very very low has very very low hit points and now Wabbit oh dear synergy is struggling to hold on I think he no big no mistake is allowed in this situation Wabbit's also looking for Korra Korra but the, the waiting time uh, here means that Korra Korra now has three shells in his clip and Wabbit Wabbit is now dropping the reactive armor and he receives a bounce here is that a good move from Wabbit I don't know but this is really risky I think oh no Tanner just go back to away and now he meets up Ryan which has a lot more hit points I think Tanner just opened the can of worms they here. have really um, played into Tanner, Tanner now getting shut down by Ryan. I think this is a good play by Ryan, but Wabbit receives another bounce. Oh my goodness me, Cora Cora is having a bad game of his life and now Tanner is now dead. It's now 1 versus 3. Is it possible for Cora Cora to do the absolute impossible? I don't know, but Cora Cora hits Ryan, but Synergy puts a good AC show to Cora Cora, which means Red Naps is going to win the second game. And they did. Um, as you can see, I think what um, you can take away from this is that uh, Naps. Although they started good, uh, the middle almost uh, Ryan, especially particularly that move into uh, into the Prowess forces almost lost in the game, and uh, yes, um, you might have a good start. Uh, you also need a good uh, mid stage as well. They did really well in the late stage, uh, which gave them the win in the end. But could have gone very south with the mistakes, the major mistakes they have made. So now we are on Port Bay. It's going to be Pinsir versus Pramel. Alright, so now uh, we are seeing Pinsir yet, yet, to, yet to show up. Yuri 12 is alone in, on the subs bench. He's going to warm the bench, however, but um, he's lonely. He needs some love. Can everyone give some love to Yuri 12 here? It would be really nice. Um, Port Bay is a map that um, really depends on where you go. So if you're going for C, which is the northeastern corner, you probably want to take. Uh, hold down tanks because of the terrain but if you're going to the city you want to take the German heavies or the ice falls because it has it is flat and it uh, has a lot of buildings that you could side street with so primal with this kind of setup you will be expecting uh, it's gonna be hard to say because they have Triple uh, three heavy tanks that could work real well in hold down situation I mean maybe not is 7 but I think Prabhu, they are probably going to do some split strategy here. Me thinks. Um, can't, I can't say for 100% certainty. Drew is, uh, is also here, so good one here. Hello, wow, Pedro. Hello, the G boys. Hello, Ufi. Hello, the Beast. Hello, Christopher. Um, hello, another Christopher Delaney. Um, good, good. Prambo. <laughs> it is. Um... And Pins are going with. Ooh. Ooh. Triple Mouse. That uh, would be very interesting on Port Bay, given the Port Bay is not a small map, it's quite a large map. So for them to go triple mouse would be a very interesting call. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Thank you once again to do for real for the shout out. But it's going to be double crowd bargain by tanks go choo choo and Aberat. Regular black in the mouse, Luffy in the ice for SpongeBob in the team of Teddy Five alongside Yarrow. Uh, nope, Yarrow is not playing. Pepe Hands is playing instead in the Vickers Light and Kill 101 in the T22. And so, um,. Rayla Black is not playing, so who's going to play? Yarrow is now in the T125, so no, in the mouse instead. Um, oh dear. <laughs> so, crowd, so, Pinsir 
Once again, it's like Pramo, I would see kind of a split strategy for both teams. They would look at uh, A, B side and also C side at the same time, which in my opinion could become a Cam Steel situation, which I don't think any viewer would want to see uh, both teams resetting, stopping one another from getting any caps. And uh, this could go on for seven minutes. This is the easiest way to use up all seven minutes is to stop the team oh i got the right uh i got the right order thank you um thank you for nothing basically um <laughs> so basically this is this is the easiest way to use up all seven minutes getting no caps preventing anyone from getting a cap this is the most boring thing you want to see and Camp Steer is the easiest map to do something like that Port Bay I think is the next uh, map that is the easiest in doing something like that and Peppy Hands is trying to go up this air yes he did successfully go up to the plateau he's going to spot up Master Chief and he does so um, Master Chief is uh, not going to be able to get to him. He's spotted. He's not able to cross into the corner, but uh, Prancer doesn't have any tanks going into the corner. And Primal's not putting tanks over to A and B. Oh, Chipotle is getting shot at. Mm, nice one. Um, ooh. I reckon it's going to get C for Pinsa, and I think this is going to be important here. And they got C, which is going to be really important. But A is also out, also left out in the open, so which means Pinsa they will get two caps, meaning Primal will need to be the one making that push. And Amorat is going to be very important in shutting down Primal's rushes. And so far, SpongeBob and Peppy Hands has have received a lot of shots um pro tana the good shell from i think either peppy hands or kill 101 either one of the little penetrate but pincer is actually the one being the aggressor contrary to what a lot of people would expect but oh where did that come from even steven's trying to steal b but he is out of b i think this will catch Pincer of guard a little bit and uh, Emberat and Luffy potentially might be isolated and Pincer will be looking to shut down uh, both Luffy and uh, Emberat. This is not looking good for Pincer at this moment. Pincer needs to come in and shut down even Steven and even Steven is now dead and Pramo needs to kill off Emberat as soon as possible but Emberat puts a good shot into Chipotle. And Spongebob is going to put a good shell into Chipotle and he does Spongebob dropping the reactive armor. This is the, this is a bomb area you're watching here. I Raikkonen uh, receives a lot of shells and look at Yarrow. He's looking for Ram, but no, it's going to be tactical choo killing off I Raikkonen. You see a C block right there, but, um, but Luffy is now getting surrounded by Primal's forces and thanks to Chuchu just need that shell but it's going to be Spongebob killing off um Chipotle and Love is now dead. It's now going to be four versus four to really close call Spongebob now dead. Yarrow's still really healthy. <laughs> Kill 101 in that team going to full health pretty much and it's very going to be very important here. Yeah, Ghost Ranger now dead and Tensku Chuchu. It's a bit low Sierra. It's a one shot potentially, but I think with Kill 101 being still really, really healthy, receive a shot from Rob. And Pinsir is now up uh, in hit points. Uh, Sierra is left oh, farming the Pinsir's forces. They could throw this one away if they are not careful enough. Rob is looking for uh, Kill 101 and he puts a good shell there. Kill 101 is looking for Sierra 117 and Sierra 117 Master Chief is now killed. Yarrow is still really healthy. He needs to blend that shell onto Tanner, but his lack of re his lack of DPM is really costing that. And it's a kill onto Tanner. But ISM and Rob still really healthy. What Pinson needs to do right now is to say save um and save lives. This is what they need to do. Uh I don't think Primal would be quick enough to get to hold of uh, the cap win here. Pinson now on 975. Oh my gosh, if Kill 101 dies right here, this is not something that Pinson would want to see. And Pinson barely manages to win the first game in a very, very tight affair. Pinson getting both A and B really made the difference. And Pinson.
and Pramal, I believe that the inability to shut down the isolated, uh, I think, the Crown Vargans quickly enough did cost them a little bit of a game, and as well as losing some hit points at the start. Pramble, I think it's still very good games from both teams. Pramble did actually did more damage than Pinsa. Pinsa, um, it's a period victory for them, but they, but they do, but they do deserve to win after the T twenty two. How did he still? How is he still pretty much full health for the entire game? You see, we'll see pretty much all of the game. I don't know, but four tanks to one two K. So does Pramal. It's anyone's game in the last one. So Pinsa in the end. Um, got ahead because they got uh, two caps, which is going to be very important. And they and it's they still need that luck here. And um, here we go. Pinza is um, it's going to be leading the first game. Hello, Jada, you doing? Um, what do you rather say? Love you, Yori. Yori 12 is really. Oh my god. Sticking his tongue out. Um, yep. Pinsa. Tags good in the Crown Vargan. Double T125. No, triple T125. So we're seeing. Uh, definitely Pinsa is going for a C strategy with the lots of hold down tanks. I do not think they are going for AB. That would be kind of weird. Premu also taking some held down tanks, but not a lot. Uh, I do think it's going to be interesting. They're probably doing the same stuff, so expect a lot of um, action going on in the northeastern corner. And we head into the second game of tonight uh, Prince versus Premu. Hello, Dong. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Lots of love. LOL that is, um, uh, I'm just going to double check, I got the right order, I'm not out of order so that's good, the sound engine needs improvement, it's it's broken, come on we'll give me fix that, uh, it, it needs fixing, here we go, uh, tax good choo choo, getting some pain, uh, is um, not pincer this time, oh interesting, um, I think they are going to see in the end, nonetheless. But um, I am really interested in how they are going to approach this one. But Pramble also going for C. Let's see if. Uh, oh my god. They're doing a boost strategy. Exodia is boosting Q101 upwards, and it did work uh, in the end. And uh, Q101 would be very important in this situation. Got lots of important spots up. They know Pramble is going for C, and they're going for A at the start, but that will also give information for Pramble to kind of get aggressive to to this situation. And Kill One One is going down because he knows that he might get shut down by Cora Cora. It looks looking he's on fire, receives a big shell from Cora Cora. And uh, this is not a shell that Kill One One will be impressed about. Uh, but Chipotle lands a big shell and Kill One One just have some poor driving skills uh, for that for a moment. Um and he's now down to half of his HP. Pram with more than three kilo hit point advantage. Basically we are seeing Pinsa they needed to absolutely absolutely uh a big of a job here and uh B theoretically you can't get hold of B. Pinsa has the cap lead though. Pramel. They just need a good rotation. And Pinsa now is going to be pretty much um held in a tight pocket here. This will allow Pramel to kind of get more map control. Pepe Hands say that is suicide. I don't know who is he saying to, but Pepe Hands is going to branch out a little bit, but he has to be really careful. He's alone and isolated. If Tanner spots uh, that tank up, he does spot up Tanner. Is he going to put a shot in? No, Pepe Hands is going to run away. He does not want to telegraph his position to, uh, to Tanner. Um, no, Pepe Hans is hesitating. He needs to make that decision very quickly. Uh, Mako needs to be really careful here. Um, but he's holding here safely. I think Pram would have tanks, but Pram was now spreading out. Uh, for some for some reason, they're holding instead of trying to look for rotation. And uh, a, a 
push at Ghost Ranger receives a shot from Pinsir. And I think if Prabble keeps on doing this, it bleeds, it bleeds hit points that this can go a little bit bad for Primal because Primal they have a lot of hit points. They really need they I think they realize that they need to um make use of that. They can make a good push. But only time will tell. The bees now getting captured by Cora Cora. Uncontested. Uh Pinsa does okay, SpongeBob puts a good shell into Cora Cora and Cora Cora will be reset and he cannot get C uh, B I mean. Um ooh. Come on. Ghost Ranger is looking for ooh, kill with the one warrior. Uh that shell didn't hit the bag oh boy saying okay, so much love in this chat. I love the I love love. Good. Uh Pinsa is um Still holding on. Parallel needs to make a move, but where would they push? They still have a substantial hit point advantage. Pinsir puts a good shell. SpongeBob, good shell to Cora Cora. The time is running out for Primal. It's going to take into 800 point uh, territory, and if Pepe heads, oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, no, he might be in trouble. He, I think he senses trouble. He's trying to run away. He is breaking down the walls. Oh no, he's spotted. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, it's a bounce. It's a track shot into town. I think Pepe Hens is in heaps of trouble. One versus one. Will that succeed? Or will it not? And it's, uh, it's anyone's guess right now. But SpongeBob is also under lots of pressure. I think Pramel will be getting, uh, will be winning this one. Oh, SpongeBob receives. Oh no, he's now pincered. Pepe Hens still brawling against uh, Tanner. But he got helped by Hero One Warrior. I think everything's spiraling down for Pinsa at this point. Primal just needs the kills. And they got B as well. Pinsa, they need to kill one tank here. They need to not lose SpongeBob. But I think time is running out for Pinsa. Primal just need that one kill. And they now are on the cusp of victory. They only. Oh, that was a very important kill. A Tan and Mako and Pinsa. Oh my god, suddenly they're up in hip points as well, but Luffy is now killed. Oh, Primal, now 975, 980, just only 20 more hit cap points. And Ghost Ranger is going to be down very soon, but can they kill off Ghost Ranger quickly enough? It's not going to be the case with Exodius now also dead. What a close game once again. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> oh, I'm from saying excellent GG's tonight, yes. Pinsir. Oh my god. Pepe Hands still alive. Um I think they're probably really I think they just got just got a little bit nervous and didn't really kind of group up and bunch together primal Actually, almost read that win as well. Um, losing Mako and Tana. At one point, Pinsa looks like to be snatching the win once again from Primal. But Primal, uh, obviously with the inherent hit point pool lead they have, it's going to be really hard to do anything about that. Primal also need to be careful not to drop unnecessary hit points. That is kind of a common place for them. Um, And we'll see one all for, for for Primal and Pinsa. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, thank you very much for the close kit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish I could be loud and I can be absolutely loud about these games, but uh, sadly, <laughs> it's also possibly the last game I'll be streaming for any server winter season championship. Which is sad, I know. But it is what it is. The slots are food. You cannot have five streamers at the same uh, streaming the same game. And we can see Pinsir with triple Club bargains, double mouse, double team with Teddy Fives. Primal, quadruple ice force, higher, double mouse, and the Club bargain. I mean, for the space of map, that's uh, it's very it's kind of small and it also favors um, super heavies because it's flat and it's concealed as well breeding ground for for strong heavies here and on the other hand pincer triple uh pincer 
also going for triple crumble. I don't know. It's going to be interesting, but no mediums or lights. Hi, yeah. I hate. I, I really hate that. Um, as a head say, no ice walls. Let's see if it's going to work. What does this? What does this sound just kind of pop? Uh, a pop sound. This. Uh, I'm not hydrogen, so why am I popping? That. Um, <laughs> you don't know. That some engine is. Uh, it's. Uh, it's. It's really out of order. <laughs> Just, I have no idea what's going on. No radio luck is going for. See, white flag at this. Spawn up. Uh oh, pincer. Uh, travel. Radio black knows he what knows what kind of stuff he's dealing with. Well, no, no. Primal is just. Uh, are they just iron fisting at this moment? I mean, <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> Um, just need, just need some lubricant for this. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, <Yaro. laughs> I need to have a word with you about that. <laughs> that radio black puts a good shot into Iraqan. Iraqan is actually the first tank going to be dead. And that was a good kill uh, into Iraqan. Pincer is fighting back hard, and Yaro is going to put a shell into Tan Tan too strong. And is he going to do that? No, Kill World War War is now dead. Oh, look at Pinson now going on Mars to Tan Tan Too Strong. And he's not going to be strong uh, anywhere now. And uh, he's now queued. This has descended into Doc's dinner. And Emma Rice is going to put a good shell into Rob 78 potentially. Yes, it is the case. And it's going to be 5 versus 4. Still 4 really healthy tanks. Goes on to show how good Pinsir is in terms of focus fire. Cora Cora is the next tank for Pinsir. But he's down, unfortunately. SpongeBob is dead. But Cora Cora is going to be really, really up. <laughs> and Tanks Kachishi is going to be the next tank down for Pinsir. Yes, he is. But Cora Cora is also dead. Double Mouse and a Crown Varga DPM for Prime was going to be really low, but so does Pinsir actually. Um, it's going to be interesting how they're going to work it out because Prime has more than 2k to hit point advantage. Amorat is really, really low. This is really hard to say. That was a good shell from even Steven into the backside of Amorat. This is going to be really hard. Peppy Hands cannot flood their shell. Puts a good shell into Chipotle. And Peppy Hands needs to. Oh, it's a bounce onto Chipotle. And Chipotle is now down to a two shot now. Pepe Hands just need that good shell into Chipotle. And Yaro also needs to land that shell into Chipotle, killing Chipotle off. Pepe Hands. Oh no, he's dead. But um, before he could land that shell into Chipotle, now it's a 1 versus 3. Pramo is actually the one coming out on top. Um. Yarrow, good show to even Steve. I think Pinsir, good focus fire, but Primal just simply think they got the right tanks at the start. I don't know, but um, I think it's still really close to call. It could be, it's anyone's game once again, this one. I really like how, you know, Primal is not like the gods of the NA server, and everyone has a chance against Primal. But um, really good game for Primal. Pinsir, not a bad game at all. I really don't see any major mistakes from from Pinsir's side. Um, it is one of the T's five tanks doing more than 2k. Primal also five tanks doing more than 2k with Chipotle. More than 5k, even Steven, more than 4k, four kills in total. So those mouses are, are bullish about their chances. And we are going to be seeing a tiebreaker. <laughs> Sorry, for Pramo against Pinsa. Uh, here we go. Triple IS-4 for Pramo, double Kranwagen, double Mouse, Pinsa going with... Um, tanks go Chuchu in the T-57 Heavy, Everact to FE-215B. Raylo Black in the double crumb bargain alongside Pepe Hands Luffy in the double mouse alongside Yarrow SpongeBob in the IS4. Uh, no, Pepe Hands in the T125. No, K101 is coming in for uh, to play in the mouse. A T57 Heavy is always an interesting choice. Uh, doesn't have the best mobility, has okay armor. Uh, DPM is going to be worse than 50B, so. Interesting how Pins are going to work with this. They are getting a little bit softer here. 
Um, still no mediums of lights for both teams, which is not a sight to behold. But Primer once again, very very strong heavies. I think really, by uh, really, by uh, really looking at the fact that Pinson players do bound shells. Dunk wants me to stream challenges. <laughs> But I think it all depends on whether I will stream tomorrow. Um, I mean, for the ch uh, Winter Season Championship, but if I don't, but I probably would have the day off and then I will be back in the upper and lower bracket finals for the any server challenges to the mid that is. Here we go. Pincer on the, let's see if I got the right score line. I got the wrong score line. It's uh, actually Primal leading 2 or not Pincer. So Pincer, um, red team, they're spreading out Primal, blue team, self spawn. Are they going for the same strategy again? Going for an iron fisting? We'll find out really soon. SpongeBob is the one tasked to defend that. Um, Primal are all planktons right here, and uh, Yarrow is in the mouths alongside Kill Water One Warrior, but Ray Little Black and the Crown Vargan. Conky say, Let's go, men. And uh, C's now getting captured by Primal, but Tapinza is really spreading out. And here we go, good shot into corner, corner, and uh, Spongebob, uh, I think Tanks, Gucci and Spongebob have done a tremendous job in shutting down Tanks trying to go for C. Primal can't approach this one casually, obviously. Oh, that was a good shot into 10 10 too strong. Uh, Pinsa doing absolutely what they could to frustrate Primal, and they have absolutely done so. They got B as well, uncontested. I'm always hitting the buildings, and this is what we are seeing here. Even Steven taking a hit, double tap. Good shell there, Pinsir is really doing a fabulous job in getting the hit point pool lead back. And Pinsir, I think they just need to hold at this point, but they also need to consolidate. The double mouse would be the one um, spearheading a potential push from Primal. I think this could descend into Entropy really quickly if Primal is decisive enough. But that could also be Pinsir could just go into C and shut down Korra Korra. Primal by no means are grouped solid, uh, are grouped together. And for the first time, Pinsir is with the hit point pool advantage where Amorak receives a lot of shots. He's trying to pull back, but no, Primal did really well in punishing Amorak for being, uh, for being out of position. But 10 10 too strong. That was a good shell from Yarrow there. Oh dear. Kill one of ones now getting pushed. I think Primal is now getting an upper hand here. B is now getting captured. But for SpongeBob going to sh shut down Steve, even Steven. Good shell there. But I think that he just opened the cam of Worm he Worms. He is now isolated. Primal's looking shut down SpongeBob. And now Primal with more than 2k hip advantage. I think the initial advantage with Pinsir shut uh, bleeding. Primal is now gone. SpongeBob going in. I think this is the send into Anarchy. Tanks go to is dead. And this is really, really uh, some stuff that I don't think Pinsir would be we could would be happy about. Kill Water was now dead. And Chipotle is going to be the next time down for uh, for Pinsir potentially. Pin Pepe has killed some Chipotle, and it's now going to be five versus five. Responsible also now dead. Can they do the unthinkable here? Uh, Amorat is now going to be a focus for Primal's tanks at Iraconan. It's now going to be shut down by Rayler by potentially Amorat is now dead. It's three versus five. Is it still possible for Pinsir at this point here? I don't know. But Iraconan is now one shot. Yarrow is now dead. Pepe has still really healthy. Is it over for Pinsir now? I have no idea. Hello, join. And um, Pepe has dropping the reactive armor. Now, 2 versus 5. I have no idea what's going to happen, but look at this. Pepe has now surrounded. Bunched. I don't know. Pinsir. Um, and Pepe has could do nothing but to raise white flag. And uh, GG's really to Primal. I think that mid game phase here, shutting down Pinsir's isolated forces, really won them the game. 
And despite Pinson doing absolutely terrifically in shedding away the hit points of Primal at the start, um, really dropping too many hit points in the middle ga mid game, really cost him the game in the end. And congratulations to Primal for advancing to the lower bracket third round. <laughs> Spitfire saying, Heat exists, use it, FFS. <laughs> The Primo, 5 tanks to over 2k, absolutely once again the super heavies doing their job and making making sure that it's a good tank to it's a good tank to use in Fort for Despair. Pinsir, I think 2 and 5 he dropped so many hit points trying to move back and I think really losing too many hit points in the mid game phase uh, really kind of notches the the entire momentum against Pinsir. And Pinsir can't do anything about this to rescue uh, that game. And I think they could go out of the Winter Season Championship with their heads up high. Because I believe Pinsir really did a phenomenal job uh, so far this season. And I think their sight, uh, their eyes will be on the spring season. And I wish them good luck and all the best. And I think they just need um, to train more and probably... Uh, work more with uh, kind of uh, the lineups and also the strategies. I believe they can be a force to be reckoned with, but Primal, you can see just how strong they are and uh, with uh, with the teamwork. This is what they are always good at. We, we saw that back in Void with pretty much the same players, and we, we're seeing this with Primal. Um, the, the amount of teamwork they're displaying is just phenomenal for, for Primal and this is what they need to con need to do continue uh, continuously in the next uh, in in the remaining games. But absolutely, what they need to stop doing is to lose too many hit points at the start. Um, really cost them quite a lot of games, and um, and sometimes the focus fire can be quite slack. But in the end, Primal getting on top and Pinsir uh, would be going home. Hello David, how are you doing? And let's see if I can uh, see the results of the winter season, uh, the challenges tournament. Alright, it's going to be Rifle 2 1 against PPSFC and MM 2 0 against our VG. That means MM will be facing our uh, facing our uh, rifle in the lower bracket third round. Uh, meanwhile, um, what is the result of um, Apex against CPG? Three one for Apex, so they are going to be facing Pramel in the lower bracket third round, and uh, that will be obviously streamed by every uh, fishy uh, Judos and Papa Rage. Probably I won't be streaming that much, so uh, either I will take a break tomorrow and come back for the challenges to the mid, or maybe someone just can't do the games tomorrow and I can fill in, but we will see for tomorrow. Um, but this is it for me for the Winter Season Championship. I really hope that you enjoy my coverage on the Winter Season Championship, and in the future if I have any chances, I will be happy to stream any server once again, and hopefully, um, I just need to do better in, ten in terms of like uh, time management. <laughs> but so far, all the top four on the NA server are through to the final top four, and no surprises there, I would say. But um, it is what it is. Really good job from all the teams so far tonight. Um, yeah, and I think we are up for some exciting. Uh, matches at a good climax in the end and uh, tomorrow Primal vs Apex and I think this is all for me for, for now I think I'm going to s sleep very quickly and uh, let me show you the challenges to the bracket for the a uh, for the NA server as well it is going to be SLG vs Void in the upper bracket finals and MM vs Rifle in the lower bracket third round uh, chances are um, if um, I if I would, would not be streaming tomorrow then 
on Saturday I will stream uh, SLG versus Void, followed by the loser of that match against the winner of um, MM versus Rifle. Oh, Maxivo. Oh no. The rain. Thank you. Um. So, uh, unfortunately, um, because it's very late in my time, I will go to sleep and get ready for Asia Server tomorrow. I need sleep, enough sleep for Asia Server games, and um, I will see you all. I'll see you all uh, very soon. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my commentary, um, and I really hope to see you more. Uh, see you, see you in the next few games, and uh, and and especially on the Asia, both Asia and any server. Uh, thank you all for your for your big support uh, so far this season. Uh, be the be the first time streaming the any server. I really like uh, streaming tournaments, as always. It's been a fun experience for me, and um, it's um, yeah, just um, really hope to follow any more any server games in the future, and uh, I have to see how well Thomas, uh, I mean Bravo is doing for the any server. But uh, so far, I don't think any, uh, Bravo has done a brilliant job so far. Uh, predicted uh, didn't predict a win for Naps. Predicted a win for GG, but uh, wasn't that big of a margin here. Um, I'm not sure about the prediction of Apex versus CPG, and also Pyro against uh, Pinsir could be the correct outcome for these two. I I think if it was uh, Bramble, I think they will predict Pyro to win and C Apex to win. I think Bramble probably would do a good job tonight, but uh, I I can only know tomorrow when I run the map uh, the Bramble bot. Uh, thank you all for coming, and hopefully, to, uh, hopefully on the Asia server, we're going to see some very close games once again. Big commiserations to Pinsir and CPG. I think all of these clans, currently in the top 8 for the Winter Season Championship, have really exceeded their expectations and have done uh, very, very well. But uh, there, there can own that. But at the end of the day, clans have to have to be eliminated so very cruel but has to happen um so thank you for watching um hope to see you in the future it's the end of my stream for, uh, end of my coverage for the winter season championship on the edit server uh, um, professionally and i hope to see you all in the future uh, if, uh, if possible thank you very much uh thank you very much for being such a good, um, nice reception. Thank you very much for nice reception in general, and can't say much more than that. Than thank you and also.